Mark Russell Biniev was born on the 25th of September in 1964 in San Francisco, California, into a Jewish family. In 1982, Biniev graduated from the Bowling Game High School and went on to enroll at the University of Southern California, where he earned his Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree in 1996. He was a member of the Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity. Binioff is married to Lane Binioff and the couple leaves with their two children in San Francisco, California. Binioff sold his first computer application while still in high school, How to Juggle, for around $75. When he was 15 years old, Binioff founded Liberty Software, a company which focused on creating and selling games such as Flapper for the Atari 8-bit as well as other popular video game consoles. By the time he was 16, Binioff was already a successful entrepreneur. When Epics published his King Authors Here, The Nightmare, Escape from Vulcan's Isle, and Crypt of the Undead, Binioff was earning royalties of $1,500 a month, enough to pay his way for college. During his studies at the University of Southern California, Mark was highly inspired by Apple founder Steve Jobs and went on to do his internship as assembly language programmer for the Macintosh division of Apple Computer. Binyev had wanted to continue programming after college, but his professors advised Binyev to obtain customer-oriented work experience to exploit his excellent oratory skills. Binyev joined Oracle Corporation after graduation in a customer service role. Binyev spent 13 years at Oracle in a variety of executive positions in sales, marketing, and product development. At age 23, Binyev was named Oracle's Rookie of the Year, and three years later, he was promoted to Vice President, the company's youngest person to hold that title. In March 1999, Binia founded Salesforce in a rented San Francisco apartment and defined its mission in a marketing statement as the end of software. He is the author of the term Platform as a Service. He has succeeded in extending Salesforce reach by allowing customers to build their own applications on the company's architecture or in the Salesforce cloud. Binioff's distinction for far-sightedness and leadership qualities as well as his groundbreaking innovations and ideas is legendary. Binioff has garnered various accolades and titles for his varied achievements. In 2009, the members of the World Economic Forum named Binioff as one of its young global leaders. In 2016, Binioff was named one of the Fortune 500's World Greatest Leaders for his commitment to equality for all and other social issues as CEO. Also, he was named Business Person of the Year by Fortune Readers, one of the best CEOs in the world by Barron's, and he has received the Economist Innovation Award. He served as co-chairman of the President's Information Technology Advisory Committee from 2003 to 2005, and also a member of the World Economic Forum Board of Trustees. Binioff's company, Salesforce, has been named one of the most, world's most innovative companies five years in a row by Forbes magazine. Salesforce has also been recognized by Fortune magazine as the world's most admired company in the software industry four years in a row and named the company a best place to work eight years in a row. On May 16, 2014, Binioff received an honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters from the University of Southern California. On March 17, 2017, Binioff was included in a business leaders symposium organized by the Trump administration at the time of German Chancellor Angela Merkel's visit to the White House. Binioff is also chairman of Salesforce.com Foundation, which was established in 2000 as a public charity. He operates on a 111 model of integrated corporate philanthropy by which companies contribute 1% of equity, 1% of employee hours, and 1% of product back to the communities it serves. This 111 model has been adopted by more than 700 companies, including Google. In 2007, Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy presented Binia for the Excellence in Corporate Philanthropy Award and in 2008 invited him to become a director of the board. In 2016, Richtopia, the UK-based company, named Mark 16th in the global list of 500 most influential CEOs in the world. As of March 2016, Salesforce.com has offered more than $115 million in grant, 1.3 million employee volunteer hours, and is used by 28,000 non-profit organizations with Salesforce technology. 
In 2018, Salesforce.com and United Way jointly created Salesforce.org, Philanthropy Cloud, a global platform that connects employees, customers, and partners with charities and gives them ability to streamline philanthropic investment and real-time reporting. On September 16, 2018, Binioff and his wife, Lean, bought time for $190 million. Aside from the donations Salesforce as a company is engaged in, Binioff has also been involved in some personal charity. Binioff and his wife, Lean, have been recognized as top humanitarians by Forbes America's 50 Top Givers list in 2015 and a Chronicle of Philanthropy 50 list in 2010, 2014, and 2015. In June 2010, they announced a 100 million donation gift to UCSF Children's Hospital with the goal of not only seeing the new hospital built but significantly advancing children's health care worldwide. In 2014, Mac and Lean Binioff gave another $100 million to UCSF and Oakland Children's Hospital, both now called Binioff Children's Hospitals. The Binioffs have also donated to the Ocean Cleanup, a non-profit organization developing technologies to read the world's oceans of plastic. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.